talk to a lot of our, you know, old chemical and fertilizer distributors, and they kept telling us that we, you know, it can't, you can't do that. You can't just go organic. And it's not going to work out for you. I think the best way to answer the question of what we do that's special, I think you turn that question around, and, and I think the things that we don't do are the things that are special. You know, we don't use uh, pesticides, we don't use herbicides, we don't use chemical fertilizers. I actually decided to come to this campus strictly because they're a green campus. They're, they're not just talking the talk, but they're walking the walk. In 2007, we went ahead and started uh, hiring goats to eat our weeds, and they ate all of the blackberries. Um, it was a great hit, and the goats were really cute. We've got about 64 goats out here, and they're clearing about a half an acre. There's lots of benefits to it. Um, you know, it's very green, obviously. They sterilize almost all the weed seed in their digestive process, so they don't repropagate the stuff that they eat elsewhere. You know, they, they get a good life. Um, I rescue most of these goats, and they never get slaughtered. They get retired when they can't work anymore. I was out spraying. Uh, on what we call the promenade area and we we're just going through the routine of spraying and I was spraying the plants and and I looked back over my shoulder and within about five minutes after spraying I saw some neighborhood fellow walking through with his dog and the dogs going to these same plants and sniffing them. I wouldn't dream ten years ago that I would have a complete change and now I enjoy being a, a good steward for the environment rather than a, a, a chemical applicator. I first uh, read this book, um, uh, Worms Eat My Garbage, and uh, it really got me interested in worm composting. We're generating soil that we can use in our flower beds. It's full of nutrients and it's this great organic fertilizer. Today Midori brought us up here to look at the bins. You get hands on and you get to get in there and see exactly what's happening. It's funny because since taking this class I've already started things in our own house. Um, we got a compost bin and we're starting things that I wasn't really aware of before taking this class. From a learning perspective I think it's very important um, just so that we can actually see as an example, not just read it in a book. I think it's really cool. <laughs> There's just something about being there and seeing it instead of reading about it. And I think that's the kind of experience that I want to give to my students. That's where we come in, is we can provide these tours and these outreach opportunities and really connect students with what they're learning to with what we're experiencing. Sometimes Tyson will uh, give uh, talks and classes to students taking them around, showing them what we do. But for my personal enjoyment, it's just every day looking up and seeing someone walk by the campus and having them admire it, stop and smell a flower, ask what a plant is. And uh, I find that that's probably one of the most enjoyable things on the campus to do. Those guys are so fabulous. What I really like about them is that they're, um, they're so passionate about what they do. Because of their mindset, because of their desire to continually do better, to push that bar, to think of new ways, or really old ways, <laughs> to do things that have less of an impact. And you can actually, as a faculty member, collaborate with them. You know, I've had my students interact with the campus facility services folks on many occasions, doing various research projects, whether it's monitoring the water use on campus, or you know, going out into the wetlands, and. Uh, doing water quality measurements or going off into North Creek and looking at the impacts of the beaver dam on uh, North Creek. We, we were able to design a dual stormwater system in the uplands where dirty water um, is taken to a, to a water quality system for treatment. Clean water, which there's actually a lot of on this particular site, is this groundwater that's perking through the, through the, uh, through the soil foundation drains, water coming off the rooftops of buildings. It's all very clean water and that water is collected separately and routed directly to the wetlands um, to, to help recharge those wetlands and, and allow them to thrive. We were the first uh, campus in the state to be uh, salmon certified. SalmonSafe.org is the organization. The thing that historically has been a problem with the use of chemicals as pesticides is that we never really know everything there is to know about how that chemical is going to behave. Decades ago, we knew almost nothing when 
kind of found out the hard way when species started going extinct and, and were severely threatened because of consequences that no one had ever looked into. Just getting chemicals all over your body, you know, from just it shaking up a little bit and just you smelling bad. It is something that I that I really like to cut out of my life, and I did. Well, we did. We yeah. did. We did it. My favorite part of the job. Well, I love the I love the seasons. It has to be. I love fall. In terms of landscape gardening, I look at sustainability more in terms of recognizing the natural cycles, uh, the seasons of life and death, rebirth, um, nutrient cycling, and I think the closer that we can get to existing within those natural cycles, the more sustainable that we are, both as humans and as you know caretakers.